more, that's for sure, is what you wanna do, is what you wanna do, is what you wanna do, and there's a room on the beautiful women, but I want one, alright, that's my bad, my bad, I was listening to that boy party next door. But what's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGP Me. And today we got when heroes get arrested by dumb cops by Court and Court and Crime Chronicles. Let's go ahead and like the video. Well, um, without that being said, let's see. Let's see what they talking about. Firefighter in the back of a police cruiser. Wow. How'd he end up in handcuffs? Mm. He says he was just doing his job. Hey, check that out. I stopped to help somebody been shot. I'm getting arrested. Usually, heroes get rewarded for what they do. But sadly, these heroes get arrested by the police instead. And the reasons why are insane. Here are some instances where heroes ended up in jail. Starting with this hero who tried to save the victim of a fatal shooting. Thank you for teaching me not to be helpful, you fat On October 9th, 2020... <laughs> He said, thank you for making me not help for you fat fuck. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Joseph Garces, a retired firefighter, was driving his Jeep in Santa Paula, California, when he spotted a shooting victim named Samir Salgado lying in the parking lot in a pool of blood. Without hesitation, Garces got out of his car and started doing CPR to the victim. Soon after, police officers from the Santa Paula Police Department came to the scene. Don't go to that, don't go to the car. Don't go to that car. Stay over here, stay over here, stay over here. Come over here. That's your car? That's my car. I was driving by, I saw him. I'm a retired fireman. Okay. I'm not a part of this. We don't know anything about that. We see a gun in the car, you're not going there. Do you have your ID? It's in the car. What's your name? Joe Garces. Joe Garces. You got, you got to relax, okay? We know you're helping us out. Wait, but you guys aren't listening either. That's part of the problem. Yeah. So I said, we appreciate your being involved, I, I get, I get, okay? Get, We're just running. That's his knife. I took it out of his pocket to cut his shirt okay. off. And that's your vehicle. Yeah, I was driving north. I saw the lady. They were looking this way, and I saw him down, and I thought it was beer or something. Spun around and came in, saw the blood. She said they were calling 911. I screamed, has he been shot? She said, yeah, it was. I was pulling in. Okay. Saw the gunshot wound to the side of his face. Mm -hmm. um, I did a quick check. Mm -hmm. Found the gun in his waistband, rendered it useless, stuck it inside my car. Grabbed his knife, cut off his shirt, and then you guys started showing up. Okay. Did you, see, started any, doing CPR. Did you see anybody no, running, nothing, anybody nothing, leaving nothing, the area, nothing, anything? Nothing. Garces gave his witness testimony to the officer, which was a polite and respectful interaction. Exactly. However, things took a turn for the worse when Detective Rivera from the Santa Paula police arrived and began to adopt a condescending attitude. Get this guy out of here. Sir. He's a witness. What the f***? Relax, relax. Okay. Well, we appreciate it. Huh? So I got a crime scene, sir. I'm a detective. Yeah, and I'm here helping him, so step the f*** off. Out of my okay? Room. If you're a good detective, you wouldn't be yelling at me right now. You'd be taking care of your f***ing job. Over here. Yo, <laughs> you. I can't get the f*** out of here. Get out of my quit your Get out of my crime scene! What are you gonna do to me? Get out of my crime scene! I'm gonna make you next time! Get out of my crime scene! Come with me, Mr. Garces. Mr. Garces. Mr. Garces. Come with me, Mr. Garces. I wonder if people don't give you guys the benefit of the doubt. And I work with you for 27 years! Why do I get my car back then? Hey, thank you for teaching me not to be helpful, you fat piece of You have to stay back. Step back, step back, step back, step back, step back. I don't know who you're Okay, so now you're gonna come over with Step me, back. huh? Okay, You're doing a really back. good job right now, aren't you? I need you to back up. You need to calm him. I need right. you to back up. Come here. No, no. I, got go I, got I got him. I got him. I got him. Come here. No, you need Get to your hands off him. Take it down a notch. You can take, take it, down it down a notch. Take take it down a notch. Somebody here's not take controlling themselves. Take it down. You. Take a deep breath. Don't be a hypocrite. I've taken a deep breath. It's your turn now. Yeah, don't be a hypocrite. You want to talk like adults? I'll let you go. Okay, you want to talk like you a start dog. talking to me like an adult? Do you understand how I need to do this job? Do you see what you're doing wrong? Do you, if you know how to do this job and you have a badge, then you would understand. Now, do you want to go to 148 if you so, have a badge? It's so Do you have you. a badge? Yes, Are you I retired? Do. Yes. Do you want to go for 148 for being in a crime scene? Just because sergeants let the children know how to do their job, and you are a You're saying your time. sergeant doesn't know how to do his job? Take him. Turn around. Wow. Where's 
Wow. So niggas, niggas over here putting you on blast, and this how you gonna do them? Crazy. Of course you got in my Jeep, like I keep saying, but you won't listen. Jeep. We're adding your Jeep. And you go see it when you do look you in the want your car. Jeep. Do you want me to have to ride a search warrant and keep it, or do you want to keep your wow. car? Do you want to get home as soon as possible? I'm not talking anymore. Okay. Sink them. Uh, uh, sink them in uh, this car right here. What's your first name? Joe. Joe. Hey, check that out. I stopped to help somebody been shot. I'm getting arrested. Garcis was detained in the back of the police car for nearly 15 minutes before the detective finally released him. As a result of this incident, Garcis got a dislocated shoulder and a torn labrum, injuries that needed surgical intervention to fix. Wow. Afterwards, Garcis took legal action against Detective Rivera and the city of Santa Paula, of which they ended up reaching a settlement out of court. Even though Garces got monetary compensation, he would be hesitant to help someone again in the future. However, things turned out even worse for the next hero who would end up regretting his brave actions forever. The guy who pulls the gun isn't the one who goes to jail that night. Exactly. You go to jail. Exactly. On June 27th, 2023, mm -hmm. Army veteran Matt Solon and Michael Loudermilk, the son of a Georgia congressman, were out with their girlfriends in a bar's parking lot when a man named Dwight Cooper threatened them with a gun. Matt swiftly disarmed and subdued Cooper, forcing him to the ground. He then called 911 after taking the gun away from him. Someone pulled a gun on me. This guy asked for a cigarette. We told him he doesn't have a cigarette. He's drunk and he pulled a gun out on us. I disarmed him. Who has the gun? I have the gun. It's disarmed. It has hollow points in it. It's a Glock. I want you to stand there and I want you to put that gun on the ground, okay? Do not have it in your hand when they pull up. Okay, on the ground. Okay, tell them the gun's here and point to the ground, but keep your hands to where they can see them. Okay. Right, thank you. It came from him bleeding from the head. The guy bleeding from the head? Yes, sir. I'm the I don't know who you are. I don't know no. who you are. Okay, do you think people ever lie to the police? Is it possible? I'm going to get shot in the head. Yep, me too. That's my job. So, but I'm, yeah, I was in the military for six years. I think I know Congratulations, that. Congratulations, sir. I was in Afghanistan. I know exactly what hand is. So I'm not armed. Do you want to test me or frisk me or whatever? You're fine. Just don't move. Then. No, 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 no. Don't go reaching in your pocket, man. No, no, no. You just put away to get thrown on the ground. Don't be stupid. I understand completely that you're not exactly being caught to be there. Wow. I'm putting him in my car. Wow. Did I do something wrong? I don't know what's going on. We're trying to detain you to figure out what's going on. Does that make sense? Yep, did I do okay. something wrong? Did I do something wrong or no? I mean, you guys wouldn't even be out here if I didn't call you. Look at it this way, man. Anytime we show up on a call, we have to do what we can for safety reasons until we can safely ask everybody questions. We got one guy with a gun, one guy bleeding, so we detain and we wait till everything calms down. Then we start asking questions and kind of figure out what happens in the scenario, just so you know why you're sitting back here. No, I have no idea why I'm sitting back here. It doesn't explain anything. Matt, step on now. Yes, sir. Under control, I feel like. You had what under control? The whole situation. I had him on the ground. I didn't take care of the engines. I had it disarmed. And what else did you guys do? All I'm told is that you're the last mm. one to have the gun. You started touching your pockets and everything. I asked you not to, and you're like, hey, I'm the hero, or whatever you were saying. Okay, sorry. Right, so. I see your perspective. Matt got arrested and was later charged with felony possession of a firearm. Wow. Later. Both the police chief and Matt spoke to the media and explained what happened that day and the unjust reasons behind his wrongful arrest. In your view, is Matt Solon a hero? During his initial response, that yes, I, I, I agree with that comment. I think when the second act was taken, that's where the lines crossed, that where he protected himself and the people he was with, and I commend him for that. Then part two is where he took action beyond that, and that's where he did cross the line. Did that appear to be punitive rather than defensive? Yes, that's that's what I saw. But Matt told a different story. I asked over and over and over again, what am I being arrested for? And Officer O'Brien said, he has rights too. The gunman has the rights. The gunman has rights too. He was restrained and you hit him while he was restrained and that's why you're going to jail. And I was like, he's never been restrained. He's, he's not restrained. How long were you in jail? About 35 hours. The guy who pulls the gun isn't the one who goes to jail that night. Exactly. You go to jail. Yeah. Exactly. He isn't arrested till the next month. No, and he's giving his gun back. They're going to see this when they run my plate that I've been arrested before. For so, a gun-related charge. For a charge. gun-related charge, right. And they're going to think in their head, oh, this guy just had a good lawyer. He got off it. <laughs> The district attorney dropped all charges against Matt Solon, saying he acted in self-defense. However, by then, the damage had already been done. 
If you are enjoying the video so far, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah, what he said. In this subscribe. case, the officer's actions messed up Matt's record forever. But what they did is nothing compared to what the next officers did. Oh. On February 4th, 2014, something unbelievable happened. A CHP Highway Patrol officer arrested Chula Vista firefighter Jacob Gregoire. The Chula Vista firefighters were providing medical aid to victims of a rollover car accident while using their fire trucks to block the road to keep everyone safe when an officer told them to move their trucks, warning them if they didn't, they'd get arrested. Jacob wow. chose to stay, insisting he had a responsibility to the victim and couldn't just leave them. Okay, I don't have time for a cell phone. This is ridiculous. CHP is arresting engineer Gregoire for where he spotted the fire engine. It's unbelievable. You have to do this. It's unbelievable. You guys have to treat us like this. We're we're trying to help you. Yeah, we asked you to clear the road, and you said no, and you'd get arrested if you do that. We're in the middle of patient care with patients on the freeway. They're putting him in handcuffs at this time and walking him away. The chief of the Chula Vista firefighters backed up his colleague's choice saying that putting the victim's life first was crucial. Jacob was released 30 minutes later. He showed great exactly. bravery by putting the victim's life first. Exactly. But in the next case, other... Exactly. Y'all sound dumb as shit. So y'all don't want this nigga helping nobody? Like, make it make sense the fuck? ...faced serious consequences for doing a similar act of bravery. We're done. Yeah, no, 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 we're done. Sir. We're done. Sir. Hey, we're, we're done, sir. I had a... No, no, no. On July 26, 2017, yeah, police way. officers from the Salt Lake City Police Department went to the University of Utah Hospital yeah, to take a blood yeah. sample from a victim who was involved in an accident after a vehicle pursued by the police during a car chase collided with his vehicle, causing it to explode. Yeah. This resulted in several injuries and burns, leaving the victim in a coma. When the officers got there, the nurse in charge, Alex Wubbles, stopped them from taking a blood sample, and the ensuing interaction quickly descended into chaos. So I printed this off. This is what I was told to print off. And Brad, I'm just putting on speaker so you can. So I have this. It says obtaining blood samples for police enforcement from patients suspected to be under the influence. Okay. This was something that you guys agree to with this hospital. The three things that allow us to do that are if you have an electronic warrant, patient consent, or patient under arrest. And neither of those things. The patient can't consent. Exactly. He told me repeatedly that he doesn't have a warrant and the patient is not under arrest. Exactly. So I'm just trying to do the, what I'm supposed to do. That's, that's all. So, okay, so I take it without those in place, I'm not going to get blood. Is that, am I fair to surmise that? The nurse stopped the officers from getting a blood sample from the unconscious patient, citing it was against hospital policy and legal regulations. Exactly. It was unsurprising that the officers failed to meet the necessary requirements. Their motive for seeking the blood sample was questionable. Mm. They sought to determine if the victim had consumed any drugs or alcohol, potentially to justify the car crash as police regulations strongly discourage high-speed chases on busy traffic to avoid endangering civilian lives, a protocol the officers seemed to have neglected resulting in the crash. Mm. Look at cops not doing their job correctly. Shaking my fucking head. I don't know. I have no idea why she's blaming I'm just representing Why are you blaming the She's the one that has told me no. Yeah, but sir, you're making a huge mistake right now. Frustrated about not having his way, the officer did something really shocking. Okay. Oh, please. No, we're yeah. done. No, no, we're yeah. done. You're yeah. under arrest. Yeah. Hey, Under we're done, sir. Yeah. I had it. No, 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 forcefully grabbed the nurse slamming her against the wall and handcuffing her simply because she chose to follow the law and protect her patient's rights exactly. soon after detective Payne's boss lieutenant james tracy came to the scene and began to pressure and manipulate the nurse into complying with their demands to give them the blood sample okay. the problem is this okay. you're telling me what your policy and i appreciate that you have a policy no, 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 I know. No, I'm not trying to do anything. I'm being told what to do and what my, okay. I've been told. And what I'm trying to tell you is we 
wanted blood from this guy. Now, I have talked to people, and there's probably a much better solution that we could have come to, okay? But, but, all we had to do was the blood, okay? And my point is, there are civil, if we're breaking the law, if we're doing wrong, okay? Just listen to me. Listen to me. If we're doing wrong, there are civil remedies, okay? If we took this blood illegally, it all goes away. All right? So there's civil remedies if we make a mistake. What I'm telling you is we are not making mistakes. Okay? I've done this for 20 plus years. I know what the law is when it comes to search and seizure. All right? And what you have done, because your bosses are telling you to, has been to prevent this officer who's called out to do a job to do his job. That's obstructing the justice. Okay? These two officers clearly have serious ego issues. The nurse was eventually released and later agreed to a $500,000 settlement with Salt Lake City and the University of Utah over the incident. Get that motherfucking bag. Fuck is you talking about? But anyways, that's basically the end of the video. I ain't gonna lie. These cases are dumb as shit. My personal thing is if you're gonna help, help. And do what Wubbles did. Miss Alex Wolves. She got that bag. Fuck is you talking about? But um yeah. All, all, all in all, still help people if you can. If the cops do some shit like this too, uh that's what the fuck I'm going to do. But anyways, it's your boy OGT Man signing out. Yiddy.